If a picture is worth a thousand words, then a graph is worth a million data points. A graph accurately tells you a huge amount of information in a small amount of space. When doing a graph, it's very important that the tick marks, these are the tick marks, are evenly spaced. And if this is one, then this is two, three, four etc. And obviously same on both axes. Let's call this 10 meters. Units should always be on a graph. 20, 30. Now let's draw something on this graph. Let's say a straight line like this. Well, we can now discern where this thing is at, for example, four seconds. So after four seconds of time, this guy is 30 meters along on his path. We also know that when time started, maybe when the race started, he was 10 meters ahead already. We also can tell from this graph, especially if, if I had drawn it a little straighter, <laughs> that its position is increasing at a linear rate. This is a linear graph. So what do I mean by a linear graph? Well, take for example the time two seconds. So at two seconds you are here at this position and then after one second has passed, now you're at three seconds, you have covered this much distance. Well, another second passes and now you've covered this much distance. Notice that this distance covered between two and three seconds is the same as this distance covered between three and four seconds. That is a linear graph. An example of a nonlinear graph, let's erase this, would be something like this. Here we can start at the same position. And now we see that the position is increasing at a pretty rapid pace. This is non-linear. So if we do the same thing from two to three seconds, so let's go up, this is where it's at at two seconds, Here's where it's at at three seconds, and we go across. It's covered this much distance between two and three seconds. Well, between three and four seconds, we know that it's around here, and it's covered this much distance. So clearly, you can see that the distance covered in this second is much less than the distance covered in that second, so it's non linear and in fact we know that its speed is increasing. Just for um, completeness let's also take a negative graph where for example we are starting at the same place we might go on the negative axis. You read this just like you would the the graph that was going up. Here we have a negative slope but if we want to know at what time is it at negative 20? Well, we just go across and then we go up and we see that ah, at around 5, oh, what should we call that, 5.3 seconds. At 5.3 seconds, it's at negative 20 meters. I hope this gives an introduction to graphs. See the following ones on on acceleration graphs, velocity graphs, but refer back to this one for the basics.